the only way for us to actually understand what we are was to have a period of time where we're so disconnected from these higher intelligences, at least consciously, that we had to start to sort out what in the heck are we doing? Where did we come from? And how can we prove this is the case? And hindsight is twenty twenty. It's becoming pretty obvious today. This was always how things were supposed to progress. From creating the James Webb Space Telescope, or using the electron microscope, or developing the ability to create rockets that go to space. All of these were steps along the process of understanding our place here on the Earth and ourselves in general. As we get further into like how cellular life behaves by understanding it, all cells have DNA, mitochondria, and different ways to intake energy, transform it, and then utilize it as fuel for whatever biological processes is trying to use. We're beginning to understand that life itself has its own set of intelligent instructions it follows. If you work at, look at the work of Dr. Michael Levin, you see that there's an underlying energy field that actually impacts where cells and stem cells go in the body, what type of cell they become. This suggests that human beings have an underlying energy field in which we're sharing with everyone else in the human species. 